Hi, in this session I'll show you how to simulate rolling dice. So to get this dice to uh, roll, I would have to press the F9 key, but uh, with my recording program here, F9 would cause this to stop. So I'm going to go under the Formulas tab and go under Calculate Now and just click on that. And that will simulate the F9. And so basically you'll see that the dice is basically rolling right now. And so we get our different values from 1 to 6. If I couple, press it a couple times. And I've got this small little table here. This is dice 1. This is dice 2. So you see 3 and 3. Let me go ahead and click Calculate now. You'll see 2 here and then 6 here and then there's a total here. So there's a couple things going on here. Uh, the first thing I have going on is I have a random number generator in these two cells and then there's a auto sum feature here and these are actually images that are taken off another tab here. These are the range of images for the different faces of a dice and these both of these images are taken off of this one depending on what number shows up here. So let me show you how to do that. We have a formula here, we've got a formula here, and within these images themselves they are tied to another formula. Uh, let me show you how that's done. Let me go and just copy this particular part of the table. Let me go and just copy the whole thing here. Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. Let me go and double click this to increase the size and I'll just, I'll just delete this these contents in there for now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a random number that gets generated between 1 and 6 and that's done with the rand between function. So I just type rand and I'm going to go ahead and select this one, rand between. And the random, the, the bottom number, it's going to be 1 and the top number is going to be 6. Let me go ahead and close that and press enter and now you see 1. If I click calculate now you'll see it generates between 1 and 6. I can just go ahead and select this Control C to copy that cell and go into the cell and Control V to copy it. It's going to be the same thing. I want a random number generated between 1 and 6 for the second dice. And for this total cell, I'm just going to go ahead and add a total and press enter. And so that was a keyboard shortcut. If you, I'll show you uh, how to do that near the end of the video, but basically it's just summing up these two cells here and giving me the number 2. So if I press calculate now, you'll see that it's going through its different iterations uh, and it, the third cell here is summing it. So how do I get the dice to show up here? What I need to do is I need to create different names. I need to use a name manager to create different names and put a formula in there. So what the formula is going to look like is, let me show you here, I want to, I want to see this particular cell uh, I want to take an output of this cell and kind of put it into the formula to reference one of these cells. So you can see that I neatly put each of these dice within a cell. This is A1 here, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. So let me show you how I created this particular sheet. Let me just go into a new sheet here. And what I did was I basically just took an image. You can just take an image that you have some dice and what you need to do, this is big, probably a, a GIF image, and what I'm going to do is, I'll just copy one of them. I'm going to select this one, and then Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. So you see it's pretty big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of size this image into a cell here. It's good to have your image, your dice image, the same size, so when you size up the cells here, they would be about the same. So I'm going to size that up a little bit. I'm going to put this in here and size the column. Let me go ahead and left mouse click and size that column in there a little bit. Let me move this up a little bit. All right. And so basically, hope, hopefully the, your, your other images are the same size. I'm going to take another image here. Control C to copy. Control V to, I'm just selecting it. Control V to paste. And I'm going to right click this particular row and look at the row height. It says it's about 84, 84. So I'm going to go ahead, since I have six faces on a dice, I'm going to go select the six rows, right click, go into row height, and put 84 in here. And you'll see now they're all about they're all about the same row height. Let me go ahead down here and move this one. Let me go ahead and move this one back up here. Whoops. 
move this one a little higher here. I should have did that. And then move it in here. So it looks about the same alignment. And that is number one, number two, and you just do number three, number four, and number five. And so that basically will look like this. We can get also need to get rid of the grid lines here. And so I can just go under view and then uncheck that box and the grid lines disappear. So you do do that basically do that last after you've put the dice in and you've arranged the column and row height, you just get rid of the grid lines. And then you would have something like this. The reason why this looks smaller because I have this one at 70% right now. So once we've got the images sourced and put into another sheet, what we need to do is create the formula that will call that, that particular cell. So as I mentioned before, each dice is within a cell. This is in cell A1, this one's in cell A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. So what I need to do is I need to create a formula that will reference that cell. And so the dice here, if you notice, 1 to 5, that could be row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, row 6, right? These rows here. Formula is going to look like this. It's going to, I have to put the equal sign, and if I want to make it really easy, I can just select this sheet and just select, uh, just select this cell here, the first cell here. Right, and so you see cell A1. I'm just going to press enter. Now, it's going to bring back zero because there's nothing in that cell. But I, what I want this number here to be, I want this number to reflect what shows up here. So if this is six, this should show up, show up six. So I'm going to have that particular number be the number in here. And basically what I need to do is, so I want to concatenate sheet two, exclamation mark, dollar sign, A, dollar sign, with this, cell B1. To do that, I'll just type an ampersand, which is a join, and then B1. And I also need to actually put this in quotes. So I have to start and put sheet in quotes, and before the ampersand, put that in quotes. So if I press enter, what it's going to do, it's going to show sheet 2A1. So the output is, it just tells me that it's sheet 2A1. And that's basically this cell. It's in sheet 2, it's in A1 here. If I wanted to let me show what are the what's the value in that cell, let's pretend I have a value in this cell. Right now I don't have one. I'm going to B1 and just press the left arrow. And I'm going to type something like number one. And so that that number one is right behind this picture. And it doesn't show up here because this is text. So if I wanted to show me what's actually in that cell, I would have to use the indirect function. So I type indirect and referencing this sheet to A1. Let me close parentheses there. So it's going to take that text of sheet to A1 and reference it back to this cell and give me the number and the give me the one word and press enter you'll see that it's there so that is the formula that we need to use so let me go ahead and just like put a space here so it doesn't calculate the formula and I'm gonna go ahead and, and copy that formula but without that space there okay control C to copy and what I want to do is I want to create a named range and so I need to go under formulas whoops let me go ahead and press escape to get out of uh, edit mode. Let me go, I want to go to formulas and go under name manager and create a new name. You can see I have two names and that was for the sheet one example that I showed earlier. So I want to create something new. Let's call it, uh, let's call it dice one. And I want to put that formula down here. I want to put indirect sheet two a b1. So b1 is calling this particular cell. Click OK. And you see nothing really happens, right? Let me go ahead and close that. The, th the, sec the last thing you want to do here is create a linked image. To create a linked image, make sure you have the camera tool in your quick access toolbar. If you don't, you can go ahead and just add it. Go ahead and customize it and click on more commands. And it if it's not there, you can say, you can just select cameras not in the ribbon and look for it. Well, in, our, in my case, it's there, so it won't show up here. Oh, actually, it did show up. So what you want to do is you want to click that and add it. So since I already have it on there, I don't need to add it. But just add that on there. And once that's there, you can just select, well, let's just select the cell. You can select basically any cell. And after you select a cell, you're going to click the camera tool. And let's just draw it out here. And what it's doing is actually it's taking a snapshot of that cell. So if we change, if we press the, 
we went to formula and did calculate now, that 4 here will turn into whatever shows up here. So if I get calculate now, you can see that now that's 2 and that's a 2. What we want to do now is we want to click on there. When we click on there, we want to we see this reference is referencing B1 here. We want to change that to that name range that we just created, and that was called dice one, right? And dice one is this formula, and that was pointing to those dice, the first sheet there. So let me go ahead and press enter. Hmm, I have a reference not valid. Oh, there must be something in the name manager. Let me get back into the name manager and see what happened to our formula. Okay, oh, look what happened to our formula. It went to somewhere else. This sometimes happens, so what I want, need to do is take that out and make sure it references B1 here. So I'm going to make that. So I see I have the dollar sign in front of the A and in front of the 1. That's fine. 3, 2, 1. So let me point it back to B1 here and then close that. Click close. Yes. And now, if I type, go into the formula bar, since this is still selected, I and mean, I'm in edit mode, I'll go ahead and type dice, and it sees these names. Go ahead and click that, press enter, and the reference is still not valid. So we're back in the name manager. Let me see, I think I needed to actually probably have this, have the absolute value. Let me put a dollar sign in front of the B and the one here. And then I'll just go ahead and check it, see if, see if it finds it. OK, let me go ahead and close the, go back into the worksheet here and see if it looks for it. It finds it here because that's a number two. Let me go ahead and go back into the sheet here and click, click close. That looks at six. Since this is six, let me go ahead and use the name again, dice one and then press enter and we have our dice. So that's what it's doing. So basically what we can do now is we can just replicate this. We can do a control C to copy, control V to paste, and this is referencing dice one too, but we don't need we don't want it to reference dice one. We want to create a new one. And we want to call it we want to go ahead and bring up the we bring up the name manager. Let me go ahead and copy this. Copy this. Control C and then click new. We'll call this dice two and we'll go ahead and have this refer to instead of B1, we want it to refer to B2. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out and put a two in there. Click OK. Click OK. Let me go ahead and just check it here. This is three. So once we click on this, it's gonna take us to the other sheet and go to A3 in which it does. See how it highlights A3 here? So we'll close that, click close, and now we have 5 and 5. And the reason why this one is 5 because the name manager, if you click on this, is pointing to dice 1. We want to have the second one point to the second name that we call dice 2. Press enter, and now it's 6. Let's go ahead and delete this, and we can go ahead and just kind of make them close together. So the rest is just kind of formatting. I can get rid of these grid lines, go into view, and then click that to get rid of the grid lines. Oh, I see that I have the, the, the one still there. So <laughs> I can go back in here and just select that right left arrow and just press delete to get rid of that number one in there. And then if I go back to sheet three, you'll see that it's gone. And I don't want these borders around here. I can click that right click, go under format pictures, line color, select no line, close and do the same here. Select that. I, I think I can press the F4 key because it will repeat the last command. Let's see if it did it. Yep, and it, that disappeared. So the rest of it is just kind of formatting. I can put them close together. And now when I go under the formulas and press calculate now, you'll see that it calculates. I have one and one that equals two there. So as I said before, there's a shortcut to create the sum. So if I delete that, what I can do is if I want to automatically sum things that are above or to the right, I just have to press the Alt key and then the equal sign. And it automatically creates a sum command. And Excel is going to try to guess which parts of the cell, which cells you're trying to sum. In this case, it guessed correctly, these above cells here. I just press Enter, and then I've got my sum here of 9. And if I press Calculate now, 
you'll see that the dice has been simulated. And so we're, we have dice 1 at 1 and dice 2 at 2. So this is how you simulate a rolling dice or a rolling pair of dice. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.